let's start. All right, so as usual, let's start with DevNet updates. So um, from what I've read, we we still have this uh, issue, which Igor just described in the Telegram group, that maybe it might be, um, sorry, it's written here, it might be related to a Lighthouse node uh, losing our peers when it was about to propose a block. Uh, so it kind of forked a new chain and it wasn't able to reconnect uh, to the reorg. So it's kind of stayed on a different chain. So uh, um, according to Igor, at least, it's not an issue in Erigon or the Nethermind and it's probably unlikely to repeat in real life um, because there will be more nodes and more distributed or whatever. Um, but we still have to be careful with the Addo and he's waiting, for, I mean, Gateway at least is waiting for the next steps for the, well, for the next DevNet. Um, yeah, so are there any other news regarding this or is this pretty much the consensus everyone has at this point? Looks like we have a consensus here, so probably gonna set up a new DevNet shortly, as Carlos told on in Telegram. At least that's my understanding. Yeah, mine as well. Just making sure. <laughs> so um the the new one is for it's scheduled for next week right can we kind of i mean is, is it possible to get this out sooner like this week still uh, i'm not sure probably the delay is because of the ethereum main at chapella hard fork uh, oh, makes sense yeah yeah so we'll probably do it on monday and probably we'll prepare everything on weekend and so we'll be up and running on monday but carlos will confirm that He's not on this call. I mean, in this call, right? Uh, yeah, he's not in no, this call not. right now. All right, so I'll ping him on the on the group to make sure. Uh, but that does make sense for sure. All right, so that's not too much to discuss then uh, regarding the DevNets. Are there any other updates um, from client teams? Uh, no updates on the mind side besides we are like steadily progressing with hive tests no big news there but uh, we're working on it okay i was going to ask this later <laughs> yeah uh on arrogant side not so much any uh, uh, i guess well we are no um, no specific updates uh, we are waiting for shanghai to happen uh tonight and uh, see how that goes uh, I have a question though I think Marcos uh, from Nethermind was asking me about um, Aragon config for for, for Gnosis uh, chain or for a Gnosis uh, devnet uh, the thing is that um, currently we don't support a single file for uh, Aura um, um, for Aura chains so I was uh, I can do I can uh, uh, we, we will require some code changes to do that. So my question is whether uh, for Hive testing, do you need uh, to be able to just apply a single file as a Genesis config or not, not necessarily? Well, the idea behind what I'm trying to set up is basically to uh, make it as much general, and not, not general, more like uh, a specific for each client. So uh trying to make it in a way that we don't need to take care of make mappings for each client on the on the on the config for the high test so if if you specify me the way that you handle the files i will be able to to map it to the goal and code to make it happen so you don't need to worry too much about that just will be great if you can give me a very detailed explanation of how the things are done and a few examples will be great uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll probably, I, I still want to clean up uh, some code on our side. Uh, so I, I'll take a look uh, at it uh, this week, but it'll still take me probably a couple of days. Mm, so, uh, ping me out on, on, on Telegram. Um, yeah, at any time yeah. that you have, please. Sure.
All right. Um, on get side, I guess there's no update, and Guillaume isn't joining. Um, well, hasn't joined, I guess. So we won't be hearing anything from him. I should have asked earlier. I will do that so in the group later today. Uh, Prism, same thing. So on Nimbus side, just a quick update. So uh, we've started working on uh, depth node packages. Um, well, as a depth node package for Nimbus to kind of starting. We want to start getting this out. Um, yeah, so the gateway update we've done already. Oh no, I have no, no, no. Well, just to finish up on the gateway thing, they um, spun up bridge validators, um, and they are success they are successfully running transactions for both um, bridges, so native and uh, arbitrary message bridge. Um, they helped the giveth team to set up a bridge validator. And then there was the definite things. Um, yeah, and so regarding Hive tests, what you said, not in mind, is that there's yeah steady progress. Is there something more specific you can talk about? Yeah, not not other dips regarding uh, Hive tests. Okay. Um, so that's already almost it. Uh, I do have kind of a question regarding testnet. So um, we, I mean, I want, well, that plan and I want to open it up because right now, uh, Kiado is only useful for kind of execution testing. You can't get GNO to spin up validators, at least externally. Um, so we want to open this up so that people could uh, run their own validators and test um, the hard fork, for example. Um, so there's an idea of either keeping the current test nets, but then we might have issues with finalization at some point, or opening up a new one uh, that would specifically be made, or the, the whole purpose would be to test uh, validating. So are there kind of foot guns to avoid? Do you have maybe some uh, ideas on how to do this best? Anyone here? Uh, Philip, mm, quick question. Uh, if uh, if we need, if you guys need general tokens for testing, uh, you can ask me or Ale from uh, the no system, and we can provide you with uh, with. Uh, right, right. I, I know. So the question is, I I kind of want to make this general accessible on the faucet, but heavily rate rate limited. So maybe one token per one month or one week or whatever uh, so that we can get the community involved basically so the community can test by themselves to go through the hard work um to test withdrawals whatever basically i want to get the community involved so they can also kind of partly yeah test for them but also indirectly for us if that makes sense okay got it and the current faucet doesn't uh, uh doesn't uh, provide any any genos for Chiado, I understand, or does it? No, it, it doesn't. But the so the the reason why we didn't do it, as far as I know, because I wasn't there when it was decided, uh, but is to make sure that the def, that the testnet never stops finalizing. For example, if uh, people start a thousand validators and then stop running the keys for some reason, um, so that's the general idea. But yeah, I kind of want to get this. Uh, Open up. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, so I guess if there's no concerns from any teams here, uh, well, I guess it doesn't concern you directly, but uh, then we, I'll just keep the conversation offline. All right, is there anything else, comments, questions? Uh, yes, quick update from our side. Um, we are working with Lion on setting up um, a few network metrics and alerts surrounding the uh, the chain. And uh, we already have an instance running of Prometheus and Grafana. Um, we will be doing some tests uh, already this week. So probably next week we will follow up with a few more updates surrounding that. 
yeah, we are going to have Telegram notifications and probably also Pager Duty or things like that available for core devs. Awesome. Good to know. And so who has access to those Telegram notifications? Is this a specific group you invite teams to or? Yeah, for the moment we are testing the solution. Then uh, the next step will be uh, to decide uh, which groups to uh, to keep and uh, who to invite there. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we will open up a uh, discussion. Uh, yeah, on the core devs on Telegram for that. Yeah. Perfect. All right. If that's something else, then this was a short one. And I guess see you next week then. See you guys. Bye bye. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 bye.